Right, so we are going to record the rest of this video somewhere else later on and uh, get on with some other other videoing right now. So uh, we'll continue the rest of this list soon. Later. Right, so fast forward a whole bunch of weeks and uh, we're in t-shirts and it's sunny outside and it's hot. We're complaining that it's hot. But it's, it's super, super nice. After a long winter, which feels extra long, with the closer you get to summer, it's just that's the most glorious feeling. Even if it's 10 degrees outside, it's the most glorious feeling just to walk outside and not feel that bitter cold hit you. Yeah. It's just fresh. It feels like a camping morning. It's really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. And we've been like f just outside, like doing things like hanging up swings and like, for the kids. Um, and not for us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, we've been busy with a lot of stuff outside. Um, no projects yet because the weather is still yeah. frosty at That's night. That's why we've been so quiet. Um, you know, like when it snows and when it's so cold outside, uh, there's so many projects we want to do, but it's just too cold to do anything. I mean, everything takes so much longer because your hands get cold and you drop things and then you can't pick them up because you can't feel your fingers. It, it's just, it's no, no use doing projects in winter. So. Sorry if we're quiet over the winters. Yeah, and I think I think in our next video we'll do a little bit of a update, just uh, how things are going, how it's mm. going with Freya, um, what we've been busy with in winter, you know, like these little things. So I think it'll be a cool update. So uh, we will continue. I will I will raise the topics that you are not aware of, uh -huh. and we will discuss. Oh. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I know this is something that uh, Daniela feels very, very passionate about. Lemon butter. Oh, wow. Yeah. That I find very interesting. Um, so in South Africa, we, we have places that have like fish restaurants and things like that, like your, I don't know, ocean basket or whatever. And um, uh, something so typical to have with fish here is rice and lemon butter with your fish and a lemon butter is like it, i don't know if you've had it before but it's it's basically a butter sauce that's a bit lemony it's sort of runny but it's so amazing with um fish and it is just not a thing here um i know they are similar sort of things there's like a almost like a mayonnaise sort of lemony type of sauce but it's it's just not a lemon butter sauce and when you say lemon butter sauce to these uh, to the to the people here, they're like, what? Like they can't quite imagine it. Yeah, they're like, it sounds it sounds delicious, but also weird. Yeah, like, but on that topic as well, yeah. something else I found that was really really strange is that they also don't eat rice typically with their fish either. It's normally mash, yeah. which I find also very strange. I don't normally eat mash with fish. Yeah, we we associate rice with. Dishes. Yeah, I mean obviously there's like the roast or boiled potatoes as well, which which will then go with fat. But mash yeah. mash for me is very weird. Yeah. But yeah, so there there's there's an interesting topic, and if you haven't tried lemon butter, I suggest you do so. <laughs> right, uh, and then and then let's pick this one. Uh, just uh, randomly walking into people's houses, right? So. Um, what do I mean by that? And uh, this was more prevalent at our previous place. Yes. Um, <laughs> but it's but it's not uncommon. It's not an uncommon thing. And that is where um, your um, your neighbours um, here in the north of Sweden will, um, you know, they'll they'll come into your house. They'll just walk in. They'll yeah, walk in like hey, uh, hello, blah blah <laughs> something, you know. It felt very much like an American sitcom. It felt like a sitcom. You just sit and all of a sudden, hey, here's Uncle Jimmy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that 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 was weird. Also, you you're like, I'm gonna go bath now. Do I need to lock my door? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, because there's a joke, right? There's a joke that I've heard here. Like, uh, uh, so they say it's uh, it's it's uh, in northern Sweden. We like we lock the doors to keep our neighbors out. You know, and uh, it's a thing. Yeah, we know why now. Why now? Now we know why it's a thing. Yeah, and I mean, it, uh, but we've never we've never minded though. It was always like quite nice and like quite yeah. welcoming. Um, our 
our culture though is just uh, even our friends right if i go to a, a, a friend's house i will announce myself because he will shoot me and kill me yeah or you'll you most likely you wouldn't be able to get in the gate anyway but you would let them know that you're on <laughs> yeah. your way or you will be coming sometime today to expect you you know yeah it's but i mean like normal. imagine so imagine imagine like your friend sup for some reason left the door open or something i mean you would you'd be like hello i'm here yeah you, know? you wouldn't just walk in i'd be like hi pa. <laughs> <laughs> ha. so yeah that 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 took a bit of adjustments also the time of day like it would be seven o'clock on a sunday you'd be like who is that seven o'clock on a sunday uh, it was weird okay. but you know you get used to it anyway let's take this one um so um how differently you look forward to summer um you know like we never used to i mean we, you would look forward to summer but you'd be like oh yeah because it's, there's a holiday coming or something but yeah it, just it, it another never, season yeah it was never so much about the weather it was nicer weather mm. you know but i mean our winters in south africa they would be like i don't know 12 degrees you know sometimes 16 it, in the day yeah sometimes it would even be like 21 22 yeah on like a warmer winter's day which is like so when when it was winter or or summer you you didn't really summer's just got really really hot mm. like it was much hotter but nothing really changed the side you, nothing indicated okay now it's winter or now it's spring or now it's summer it wasn't super obvious yeah but, i mean the trees would you know, yeah, like a little. Nature, nature would change a little bit, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. where here it's, um, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, here it's blatantly <laughs> obvious. I mean, you, you, you really get that summer feeling. Yeah, and you, but you look forward to summer in such a weird way, yeah. like, you know, like, I can't wait for summer type of way. <laughs> like, to the point where we have a lake here by our house, and we stare at it, willing it to melt. Like, it's... It's a deep, you, you imagine yourself with laser eyes just melting the lake so you can see the water again. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, we walk down there quite often and just like, you know, go and check. Maybe it's more <laughs> melted than it seems. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so that's quite a, that's quite a, um, like very different for us. Yeah. You know, so seasons mean a lot more. Mm. But it's, it's, it's really nice. The differences are nice, and you sort of look forward to each season in its own way, um, which which is not something we had before. Yeah. So I think that's nice. Yeah. So it's a nice change. So let's talk about how electricity is different. So we'll do that one, and then that one. So now you've seen Taking. them. No, 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 no. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that list because maybe there's other things I want to do. I've shared this list with you so many I times. I don't have my phone in front of me. <sighs> Because it's an iPhone, nothing works on it. <laughs> Different story. <laughs> so where we come from, electricity obviously is as important as everywhere else. And uh, in South Africa, we basically have to share electricity. <laughs> right? <It> sounds <laughs> weird. Um, there's this thing called load shedding. Um, so the um, ESCOM, the National Power uh, Utility, um, cannot generate sufficient power or transmit sufficient power in certain cases. So what ha what happens is there's this thing they call load shedding, and you get a schedule, right? Mm. So they're like, we are in phase one now, or stage, I think it's stage, stage. stage five, you know? And then stage five for your area, and everyone has like this little graph um, chart thing. And like, you look on this grid, stage five, my area, Ah, and then it means like my power will be off from 8 in the morning until like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, right? So you won't have power for half of that day. Right? But like your neighbors across the lake probably do. They might. <laughs> so then it like swaps and then they have power and later on you don't have power, you know, and, and so forth. And uh, sometimes the schedules are not adhered to as much as it should be. Mm. It's like sometimes power just doesn't come back on. Some, sometimes it doesn't go off at all. Sometimes it doesn't go off, but which then, is which is equally frustrating, right? Yeah. Because you're planning. Like people have have started planning their their food around it. You mm -hmm. know, like when they eat, when they bath. 
can they can they make phone calls can they go out because it's a big security concern mm -hmm. you know and like you you know you won't have internet because your power's off yeah as well, you it, know. exactly i mean Sorry. the the, <laughs> um, the the transmission uh, centers you know for the for for your um, the switches uh, for your internet uh, providers I mean, they also have backup power, you know, but everyone doesn't have infinite backup power. Yeah, I right? mean, you're sitting, you, you often sit with no power for like four to eight hours. Yeah. You know, so what do you do? I mean, generators and things don't often last that long or inverters don't last that long. So people have maybe internet or whatever for the first hour or two and then what, yeah. you sit in the dark. Yeah, and we used to have a pretty big backup battery <coughs> system and it's actually quite... Uh, popular now in South Africa to have really big inverters and, and uh, generators that can last that long mm -hmm. and uh, it's big money it's big business in South Africa you know like these um, big lithium backup batteries deep cycle batteries mm, and it took time it took time to for everyone to get on to that sort of train as to a train of thinking Mm. on what they need to do for backup power but it actually became a necessity it wasn't an, a luxury anymore it yeah. became a well if you don't have it then what do you do yeah you know? yeah and and the backup systems are very expensive i mean it's not it's not everyday person that can you know like quickly go and buy it you know like you kind of have to plan to buy it obviously depending on the size um so yeah it, it really affects a lot of people in south africa Looking at Sweden, um, <laughs> yeah. we've had power outages here before. They were very short, I think. And well communicated. Super. You know, guys, <laughs> you get a postcard. Yeah. Like, you know it's going to go off. We got a postcard. <laughs> legit. You get a postcard in your mailbox with the power utilities like uh, like a month before or something. Like, in a month, we will be switching off your power for an hour between this time and this time. We apologize and sometimes it doesn't even go off but yeah. at least you knew you know you could plan it and and do your thing and i mean obviously you do have the the odd breakage in a line or whatever but yeah. there again it's communicated there are apps and things where you can see what's happening and how they're dealing with it so you you know exactly what's happening in south africa it's not the case <laughs> yeah i mean there like you have twitter and uh, or x uh, and um, you've got you've got people complaining at ESCOM and like eventually they'll reply they'll be like technicians have been informed you know something you know yeah. it's all very like six hours later yeah. nothing yeah <laughs> um, but also we understand as well that um, the criticality especially in winter mm -hmm. if the power oh, goes yeah. off in winter in Sweden you you dead yeah you know for yeah. long enough I mean sure you can make you could argue I can make a fire and all that stuff. But I mean, if you're a person that relies on um, electrical heating... Mm, you'd be in deep trouble. No. I mean, we had, we had this past winter, we had some days where it was minus 40 mm. and lower. So, on days like that, where even your biggest, bestest heat pumps and, mm. and heating systems and fireplaces, everything's running at full tilt and your house is still not warm. Can you imagine if it wasn't on at all? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And on top of that, it's dark because it's winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no fun, no fun. So, yeah, it's taken much more seriously. Yeah. Mm. Um, but, of course, it's a, it's a different company, different country run differently. So, um, yeah, it's nice to have power. Yeah. Great to have power. It's, it's like, you know, like... It's like Christmas. Yeah. Sometimes we just video our video it and send it to our friends where we like switch on a light like ha, ha. <laughs> uh, all right so last topic um uh, something that we got super used to taking off your shoes before oh, you walk into a house yes yeah oh, no taking off your shoes that's a that was a weird one to begin with i mean we've always sort of agreed with it yeah because like it's annoying to have dirty shoes or whatever in your house um, especially especially on a muddy or rainy or wet day yeah. it it really is annoying if someone trades stuff into our special kids i mean kids are so great at bringing everything out from outside inside so great so it took a bit of getting used to but um i would say it's become natural for us as much of a pain in the ass it is it's almost like in south africa you don't think about it much 
rarely you will be in the mud or snow, you mm -hmm. know. So you tend to have cleaner shoes. Yeah, you're normally you know, walking on paving actually. Like if you think about it, you you're on paving a lot of the time. Yeah. Some sort of paving or tar or road or yeah. something. You're not really in any form of dirt. Of course. And and we whereas here if it if it snows, I mean even if you are on paving or road, I mean mm. you're in the snow and the snow gets dirty, you know, and wet, you know, so you don't want to track that stuff in. So we hundred percent get it. And um, there's a lot of cultures that like do the whole take your shoes off thing mm. at, at the door. Japanese. And, uh, yeah. Mm. And uh, uh, that's something that we really started embracing. And uh, actually the other day I had my shoes on. Oh yeah, we, like, we went into the list mm -hmm. Um And it's carpeted, but it, it's an outside party room, right? But I walked in there with my shoes and it felt so weird. Yeah, it feels very wrong now. Yeah, it felt it, wrong. <laughs> it's really surprising how quick we got used to taking your shoes off. So now we've gotten used to the whole like inside shoes, outside shoes thing. So inside we have our Crocs and damn my friends give us hell about the Crocs. But I love my Crocs. I've got all colors now. <laughs> so, and they're so comfortable. Anyway, advert for, yeah. for Crocs. Go get Crocs, they're great. Um, and at the at workplaces as well, um, it's also encouraged at a yeah. lot of workplaces, mm. um, depending on your workplace. I mean, mm -hmm. if you work in a in a kitchen, of course you're not going to wear Crocs. No, 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 no. In but um, or or in a or if you're in a factory, you know, you're not going to wear your comfy slippers, <laughs> you know. But uh, like if you have a like a normal office job, you know, like you can you can be sure that you'll probably have to wear inside shoes there as well. Mm. Comfy shoes. So everyone sitting there, board meeting, and then, you know, have your old pantoffles on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's an interesting concept. Also, um, on the on the on the whole notion of shoes and stuff, hmm. it's also really cool. Like where we come from, like your corporate companies and your banks and things like that when you go when you go into a bank or something there's normally a lady in like a or a man they're in like a suit and like fancy shoes and like the woman normally wear these like sort of business type heels that is not something you see here what do you mean people in the banks yeah like you? when i went into the bank they're cruising around in sneakers man like oh yeah it's, it's i was like right I thought I found that quite interesting and it's the whole like outside shoes inside shoes yeah they were in the inside shoes and those shoes were sneakers and comfortable yeah but nice. st still nicely dressed though. nicely the, dressed the yeah no, absolutely yeah. nicely dressed but unexpected shoes right so we're uh, how many minutes we're so many minutes in okay and uh, this is going to be a quite a long video anyway um, it's been nice making a video again yeah, it's been a while. We're that, moving for sorry. Yeah, Daniela doesn't want to stop. She's like, let's do more. Let's do a little bit more. Give them a little bit more info. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, so we'll um, we'll record some more of these. Uh, you guys seem to like them. Thanks for people who have subscribed and all those things to our channel. Um, we will be a little bit more active now because again, sun's out. You know, mm -hmm. and that means we're out. Um, so yeah, uh, good to be back and uh, catch you next time. Head off. Head off. <laughs>